Hey everybody, Mike here. On the bench today, I've got a new tripod that was sent to me. I was asked to take a look at this, run it through its paces, and then give you guys a review on it. So let's get this thing out of the box real quick. And right off the bat, it's got a nice carrying case that comes in, so that's always a plus. I love having a place to store things in its own dedicated case when I'm not using it. Get everything out of the bag here. This particular tripod comes with a little phone mount like you see here. That's becoming pretty popular these days. Then you've got the actual tripod here itself. This particular tripod comes with this little handle like you see here, which can be started up here by your camera mount. The handle's got a little indentation here that will set where the set screw goes. So that's locked in place. Now you can pan using this handle instead of having to grab your phone or when you loosen your knob, you have a full adjustability. So I kind of like the idea of that handle. I feel like it gives you a little bit more maneuverability than just grabbing the camera that way. But if you don't want it, you can leave it off. That's the nice thing about that as well. So included in your bag of parts here is an extra QR attachment plate, which you have another one here as well. So it comes with two. You got an extra collar here in case one of the ones on the center post here, on the center column here gets damaged or becomes lost. An extra set screw for your T-handle here to any of the hardware on the tripod. You got two extra feet here for the bottom of your tripod legs. So that's kind of nice that they include those in the in the kit. It's always nice to have a few extra parts in case something would become lost or damaged. Now let's take a look at this tripod real quick. I really like this style tripod. It's got a ton of adjustability to it. So let's run through some of the features here on the bench real quick. And then I'll throw some shots up here while I'm talking of, how, of different ways this can be used out and about. One of the first features I like about this is how adjustable the legs are. You can make this a real nice wide base if you need the stability, like I've got it here on the table. But then you can also take these legs and they've got one, two, they got two more adjustments you can go to. So now you've got a more narrow base, but you can get more height out of this. And not to mention, then you've got four different extensions these legs can go through. So there's your leg fully extended. Let's go ahead and get these other ones done too. I'll set this up on the floor now. So now I've got these legs fully extended, but the nice part about this is we're not done yet. We can run this pole up here even higher. So now at our max height, we are... 68 inches, which is what they advertise this tripod to be. So you got a 68 inch tile, tall tripod that you can use here. Now let's go ahead and get this drop back down. We'll put our SLR camera on quick. Take our QR plate off. So our QR plate comes off, mount that to our camera. Camera's mounted up on here now. That incorporation with this handle on the back here, you can get a nice sweeping panoramic shot. Or if you loosen your set screw here, you can really dial this thing in and get it where it needs to be. And then also, it's got a notch here in the front, so it can actually go straight down like so. I also mentioned a second ago that you can make these legs retract down. So if you're in a spot where you need a real sturdy base, there's another configuration you can run this in. So running through some more features here for you. You can take the swivel mount adapter right here, unthreads, giving you access to a 3 8 thread as well. If you got an electronic or different device that can mount to that, you've got that option there as well. This leg here unthreads, and the advantage to this is you can mount this to your swivel mount adapter, like so, and then mount your camera to the top like we had it a second ago. Now you've got an adjustable monopod that you can run your leg all the way out on. So if you're on a trailer hiking and you've got your camera or your phone with you, you can run your monopod with you instead of taking the whole tripod and still be able to get a really stable shot while you're out walking around, or if you're at a sporting event and you don't want to take the whole tripod. This monopod here is a lot less to carry and you get a good stable shot while you're out on the field as well. This tripod's got a lot of versatility to it. There's a lot you can do with it. Camera back off of there. Let's go ahead and hook the tripod back up. Now another neat feature this is capable of doing is you can flip this whole pole here upside down by unthreading this piece here at the bottom. You can pull this pole out like this, slide it upside down, and you're probably wondering what's the advantage to this, right? Go ahead and put your swivel mount back on your tripod. Now we can take our camera, bring it back in here and flip it upside down like so. Now we've got a nice option for macro photography as well. This thing's got a ton of different options you can do with it. It's really kind of amazing how much you can pack into one small tripod. For me and the uses I'm gonna be using this on, we live on and operate a farm and we do a lot of nature photography and, and photography of our animals, part of our advertising and marketing strategy. This tripod's gonna come in extremely handy to me, being able to get out in the field and get different various shots and options, whether it be like like this in this macro photography mode if we're doing something like our garden or just being able to set this up in our field while we're running animals or, or operating tractors or whatever. Really looking forward to getting this out and getting some use out of this. This tripod feels like it's built extremely well. The finish on this thing looks to be very durable as well. So if you're in the market for a new tripod, check this one out and see what you think about it. So far, I'm really impressed with all the options this tripod has to offer.